Hi, I'm Reynolds reporting for Vinch House Daily Newscast. Good afternoon, excuse me, good morning to you all on this wonderful, wonderful Monday morning. Um, here are some news stories that we're working on out here before we get to the news stories. We're going to give you the weather forecast. How about that for this morning for a change? A chance of showers and thunderstorms is possible this afternoon around 4 p.m. Increasing cloudiness with a highs near 49. Low south light, excuse me, light south winds becoming southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour in the morning hours. Now winds could gust up to 22 miles per hour with a chance of precipitation for this evening. <coughs> excuse me, it's 50 percent chance. Rain amounts is less than a tenth of an inch is expected. Higher amounts are possible in thunderstorm areas. Now tonight. 30% chance of showers mainly be before 9 p.m. Mostly cloudy with a lows around 30, 28 degrees. Excuse me. Wind, west winds at 7 to 10 miles per hour. New precipitation amount less than a tenth of a tenth of an inch is possible. Now here's more information on the cold front that's approaching. Uh, a cold front will across the region today, on today, remember this now if you're studying the weather forecast. A cold front will cross, like I said, across the area today. Areas low pressure lingering to Wednesday night. Canadian high pressure will build in the region on Thursday and remain through the weekend. So that means much cooler temperatures with plenty of sunshine. As high pressure continue on building, that means the it's, the area is going to be more dry, um, no uh, showers or thunderstorms in the area until that high pressure moves off, which will continue on remaining until the, this upcoming weekend. Now, here are a, no, a new story we're working on out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, um, uh, excuse me, a police, uh, Charlotte Mecklenburg police are investigating a homicide uptown that happened uptown, er, uptown Charlotte early Sunday morning. Police today, two, um, excuse me, police said two men got into an altercation around 2.30 a.m. in a block of the East 3rd Street that led to the shooting. The suspect pulled out a gun and shot 29-year-old Clavis Jamon Rayford, for, Rayford for, for four times, killing him. Police have not made any arrests on this uh, yet. To follow up more on this story, go to WCNC.com. Well, that's all the news is, um, that we have right now. Uh, you know, we had the Panthers game up there in Charlotte. Excuse me, up there in Cleveland. Ah, uh, up there in California, Broncos won, and I'm very sad on the Super Bowl. Um, the, the Panthers would be the second time they made it to the Super Bowl and lose. So much, so sad for those uh, Panthers fans and uh, team as well. They did a very great job of making it uh, to the Super Bowl. We'll hear more on that on WCNC.com. We'll follow up more on that as well as they pass the information along to us. This is Ron Ellis reporting for Vinch House Daily Newscast and we hope you have a con continue on having a good morning. We're broadcasting live on YouTube. If you're interested in checking the video footage out, go to YouTube and type in my name, Ron Owens. And, t and we do broadcasting live breaking news stories on Ustream.com. Just type in WRON and you'll see that live broadcast of breaking news as it happens. Uh, we have not yet set up to do a live broadcast for YouTube, but when we do, we'll let you know. Uh, so contact Charlotte, excuse me, contact the Vinch House this morning if you're interested in the program. And that's where we have a studio there designed for people who deal with mental illness. And this newscast is a benefit towards the uh, Vinch House members in the Vinch House Clubhouse. A design program for mental illness people as like me as well. So it's a great opportunity to go out and about and to experience um, your greatest desires in a bitch house, uh, passion for work if you like to work in the kitchen, uh, if you like to work in a member's bank, they have different areas throughout the mansion that you can participate in. I participate in the TE room, which is a transition employment room. I do the weather and news there for a venture house. 
Uh, and the number is for Vintage House at 924 North Lafayette Street in Shelby, North Carolina. Uh, phone number is 704-482-3370. Uh, this news is beneficial to and sponsorship for Vintage House Newscast. Uh, as we see on this on this video, we'll show you. This is one of Brian Akers, uh, which is the coordinator. He made this design for the newscast, Rich House News, as you can see. It's a very good design, very good intro when we're doing a live report, doing a recording report on the news. We have these DVDs that we place throughout the clubhouse. But when I come back, I'm planning on making a live broadcast feed. Uh, throughout the whole Vinch House or transmitted on a TV, some, uh, low power frequency transmitter on the analog or digital channels. So Vinch House to the mansion will be able to see. But it doesn't cost that much. Like, like I said, these days have changed now and uh, it is less expensive um, price to buy these low power transmitters. Anyone can get one. All right. This is Ron o. Thanks for joining. We're going to have more um, coming up later on this evening around about five and six and we're definitely gonna make sure that those skies continue on staying sunny and unless there is a thunderstorm pop up we'll hopefully be out and about to track it to it as it comes. This is Ron O's reporting but we're not expecting no thunderstorms this morning but mainly in the afternoons if possible. We should say fifty percent chance is a well fifty fifty chance that we'll see some precipitation of thunderstorms occur. Uh, for this afternoon and it will happen around about three and four o'clock if possible if things have not changed with this cold front that is coming through today. This is Ron Oates reporting for Adventure Outstanding Newscast. You have a good morning. See you this evening.